So look at the last few years, we've gone through, I think, what, what is quite an interesting transition. You go back to this show, you know, a few years ago, we were talking about why an operator CDN, what does a non-net CDN look like, what's the business case, there are lots of graphs about video taking off, we were talking about Netflix. So we're really sort of in a different space. That changed somewhat last year, and last year we were talking more about how to get the CDN operational, how quickly could you get it operational, and we've moved into a point of not necessarily talking about why, but how. And, you know, and there are a massive number of CDN networks deployed in, you know, in some pretty huge scale, from several hundred gigabits to you know, over a terabit in capacity. So we move from sort of the why to the how, and the discussions we're having this year with operators and, and here at the show is more about um, what else can I do with the CDN? How can I use that CDN to optimize the rest of my video, video delivery beyond delivering TV to connected devices, delivering TV to set-top boxes? So an expansion of the CDN role and then on top of that, in an IP world, how do I make the TV experience better? How do I make it more like my set-top box experience? How do I make it more personalized? And how do I get even more network optimizations from that CDN now it's deployed? So it's been quite a, quite a, I think quite an interesting transition in the discussion over the past three years. So really what we're focusing on now is taking that IP video experience to the next level. We're take, talking about making it more like a traditional set-top box experience, adding more personalization in, so that more of the adverts, for example, are more personal, personalized to you as an individual consumer, um, and so that the network conditions are modeled more accurately to give you a better quality of experience, depending on what network you're connected to and what is the state of that network at that time. So really, that's where we're focused on at the moment. And we've moved from focusing on helping operators to get up and running very quickly to once they have large networks deployed, making them even more efficient.